guys, it's Hey Sophia and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys the must-haves that you should be putting in your starter homes in Minecraft. So I've been building starter homes for a little bit now. Every time I'll say I will do a video to show you what you should be putting in them, but I always just don't get around to it. So today I have gotten around to it and I'm showing you guys exactly what you should be building. I have built three very, very simple starter homes here. Each one has the crop section in a different area. But let's go through the things that you should have. First one, obviously chest, you should be able to store things in your house. The second one is a automatic food cooker, which is very, very useful. Third is shulker boxes. If you can get your hands on them, this is not essential though. For a crafting table, then a ender chest, which is very, very useful, especially if you're on a server with lots of other people. Your next one is a enchanting table with some bookcases. You then have furnaces, obviously, to cook and mining and things like that. A bed, pretty standard, anvil. This one here is a water elevator plus a infinite water source. These I find are very, very useful in my starter homes. So I'll go into that a bit more. Crops and a brewing set. So we're going to go through the first house and I will go in depth with everything that you should be putting in. In my other houses, I will show you how to be building crops in different areas. So when you have a starter home, you want to be trying to utilize as much space as you possibly can, which is why I really, really love water elevators. So the good thing about water elevators is they can get you to different floors in the house, but they have three purposes in a lot of my starter houses. The first purpose is that you can go up and down between your floors without having to have like staircases. The second reason is that at the bottom of it in the basement, like I have built here, you can make a little infinite water source, which is essential for doing like brewing and potions, that kind of thing. The third thing is a lot of my starter homes, I actually feature crops inside the home. I did it to the side on this house because this is typically what you see people doing in Minecraft. But normally I like to put my crops inside the house so that way you're not having to leave your house in the nighttime or things like that. So water elevators are really, really great and have three purposes in starter homes and I think they're pretty much essential. So Minecraft is called Minecraft. I like to build a lot of my stuff in my starter houses in the basement. So I just like to do a little dig out and put like everything down underground. You can do a lot of stuff under the house in Minecraft. What I like to normally do is that if I want to make a really, really small house in Minecraft, I typically just build layers and layers of basement under the home. So one layer of a basement, I would have like a crop. The second layer, I would have like all my little shops like I have here. But there is my little auto cooker that I just built. They are very, very useful. What I like to do is have the top chest right by the front door so you can go out during the day, kill all the animals and mobs that you need food source from. Then you just run in the door and throw it right in the chest. It goes down, it cooks, and when you need food, you just collect it from the bottom, which is quite useful anyway, because if you wanted to like store some of the other things like leather that you got from your um, like your kills that you had, you can also grab food and then store everything else that you already had. So it's like a very multi-purpose kind of survival home. Because of a lot of it is underground as well, I was able to do a very simple little chair there and just a little rug. So this survival home is a modern based one. Again, here is my infinite water source going on. Now, I find like survival homes of this style are really, really useful, especially if you are in a cave biome or a mountainside or even a snow biome. Especially if you're on a mountainside, because if you're building your home inside a mountain cliff, you tend to find mobs will climb all over the mountains, so it's not particularly safe to go out a lot at night time. So building your crops inside the house is really great. You have like, obviously you don't need light in Minecraft to build crops, but I find it's quite a cool like concept to still think that your crops need light. So yeah. So you can see I've got my, just building my little food thing right by the door again. And my water source 
is also acting as my crop water source for my little water elevator. So again, you can see how it has three purposes by irrigating my crops, being an elevator and also being an infinite water source for brewing. So I filled in my basement down there exactly like my first one. You just want to work with whatever space you like. You could even make lots of like different rooms in your basement when you're doing your starter house. But I really like how that one looks. So we're going to go and move on to my third and final little house I built. This one here, I've got my crop in the roof section. So this one, you could either have your water elevator like on top and then have not a second story house section like I built. So we're going to have two water sources in this house. My first will be my little elevator that takes you up to the second floor and then drops down and forms your infinite water source in the basement. But you will need a second water source out on my little balcony ledge here so i will just cover that up down the bottom with some blocks you could try using like other blocks but chests won't open because of the the gap there so you you could even use like a bookcase if you've got a lot of like paper and you have the materials otherwise just like fill it up with spruce and it looks fine it doesn't make a difference you don't have to make a second story little house area like i did here you could either just make it a completely flat open top roof which i have done in one of my starter homes before so i will link that video down below but yeah you can either have a completely open top roof area or you could do two sections like i have here and have like a little house section and a little open roof crop section so there we go i'm just finishing off my little basement area here I've got lots of chests again i've got furnaces my enchanting area brewing stand this one i did a little bit different and did a multi-room basement i'm just going to be placing my bed now and i might do a little carpet as well don't feel like you have to do carpet but it can be a really nice feature in survival homes to do decorating typically when i do survival homes if you do want to do furniture in your house but you're only just starting out Try and find a different wood than you normally use. So if you're building a spruce house, try and find an oak tree or a birch tree or something like that near you to have a different complementing wood color. But there you go. There is how to build the must haves that you must have in a survival starter home. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And like always guys, thank you so, so much for watching. Thank you, bye.